For those who don't know me, my name is Sarah and I am the sister-in-law to the bride and now the groom. Samantha, you look stunning. I will be forever grateful for you for choosing me to be your matron of honor. We have shared so many memories over the last 16 years and I am ecstatic to be adding this to our collection. As we continue to create special memories together, I have realized the bond we have far surpasses the meaning of sister-in-law. You are everything. You're everything I could have ever wanted in a sister. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Levi, I know that your dad would be so proud of the man that you have become and the husband that you will grow into. You have fit into this family from day one. My greatest wish for the two of you is that through the years, your love for each other will continue to grow, that your home will be filled with lots of beautiful children and laughter for all the days of your life. Look around, soak in the moment. Cheers to the bride and groom. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jacob Stockman and Levi and my friendship sits somewhere around 20 years. Some of my oldest memories with Levi were at the farm with Walter and the family. I can remember one instance in particular when Walt taught us the importance of the hitch pin clip. We were picking ear corn for Walt to donate to the locals for their squirrel feeders. After the wagon was full, off we went on the four-wheeler. The hitch pin shot up about 10 feet in the air and Walt decided it was time to find some activities that might suit seven-year-olds a little better. A few years passed and we found ourselves playing summer baseball together. The night that stands out the most, we were on the field when the power went out. The game was canceled and I soon realized that my best friend's life was about to change forever. This was the night that a girl from Twin Lakes named Samantha Fouch came to watch Levi play for the first time. Little did we all know at the time that we would be sitting here today 12 years later. Now this is the part of the speech where things started getting really tricky. Because for the last eight years, it has always been the four of us. We spent our early college years going ca camping at Raccoon Lake and spending time in the sun on my old boat. One memory in particular, a group of convict raccoons snuck in at night undid the latches on Sam's tote and stole, stole four loaves of bread. Now, if you know Sam, you know that this incident nearly killed the mojo for the whole weekend. In my short five years of marriage, I have learned that those simple life skills we learned as kids are some of the most important to a healthy marriage with honesty being first, integrity, and respect. You never go to bed mad, even if that's all you can think about, and always greet her with a kiss after a long day at work. Most importantly, don't ever underestimate the power of those three little words, I love you. I have seen your relationship grow to what it is today over the last 12 years, and I know that we will also be making memories in 30 more years with all of our kids and grandkids. So let's raise our glasses to celebrate a lifelong marriage of Levi and Samantha Chitty. Thank you. When we were younger, oh, when we 
would sneak into our parents' house. I could stay for hours, and we looked into each other's eyes. Hey, I thought I was Romeo, I was looking for my Juliet. And as soon as I left, I told my friends. Those days made me who I am When we were younger, we were never running out of time As long as we had each other, everything was black and white Driving in a car, never knowing how far we come
you just hold on I, Samantha, take you, Levi, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. I, Levi, take you, Samantha, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. I can't thank Levi enough for his patience and for his kind, loving heart. I have watched Levi fill many roles over the years and cannot be more proud of him for all he does at home, for the farm, and with life in general. Levi is truly one of a kind, and I thank God every day for bringing him into my life. Samantha works hard to care for my needs. She has provided me with the stability I needed in a relationship to mold me into the person I am today. She keeps me well-fed and provides a thoughtful listening ear for all my wild truck driver stories from the day. Samantha not only understands the farm ag service industry lifestyle, but is also accommodating towards it, even when that lifestyle is unpleasant or dictated by weather. We've continued to have faith in God's timing for our lives and our life together. We are happy to finally be moving forward in marriage.